Hello everyone and welcome back to .NET Core Central. Today we are going to dive deep into link partitioning operators. This is a very powerful tool that lets you slice and dice your data collection like a pro. Trust me, once you master these, you will wonder how you did not use it so far. Imagine you have a massive list of data and you need to maybe get the first few items or skip the items and then get some of the rest of the item or maybe you want to split your data into equal chunk of data sets and if you need something like this this is exactly what we are going to learn today before we jump into the code let's understand what partitioning means in link Think of it like this. You have a deck of cards and you want to split it without changing the order. This is exactly what partitioning does with your data collections. So let's start with a simple example and say we have this collection of number and I created a range of number from zero to seven using enumerable.range method, which creates a sequence of integer number. Here I pass zero as the first and eight as the last, which means it starts with the index zero and total eight. So it will be from zero to seven. And I'm just printing out that number. And if I run this application, I can see it prints zero to seven. Now let's take the first three numbers. So we essentially want to take 0, 1, and 2. So for that, what we can do is we can create var first 3 is equal to number dot take 3. And then we can do a console dot write line and print the same thing. And we should be seeing 0, 1, and 2 in the output. See, it is zero, one, and two. It's pretty neat, right? This is perfect when you need just the first few numbers of your collection. Now, what if you want to skip some elements and that's where the skip comes in. So for skipping, you can do last three and skip three here. And if we skip three, we should be able to see, and it should not be last three. It's essentially we are doing skip three. So we're skipping three. If we skip three, it's going to skip zero, one, and two, and it's going to print the rest. So let's run this application now. And we can see it skips 0, 1, and 2, and then it printed the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, next section is where things get a little interesting. Sometimes you don't want to take or skip a fixed numbers of the item, but based on a condition. So let's try this out. So let's create var take while less than five. And this is going to do numbers dot take while and number goes to number is less than five. And we can do a console dot write line. And what this is going to do is this is going to print everything that is less than five because that's the collection we created. And we can see here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is what it is printing. Now, similarly, we can skip with a condition. So we can declare var skip while less than 5. And this is going to skip anything which is less than 5. So now if we run this, we should see 6, 7, 5, 6, 7. Skip while less than five, yeah. So it's going to print from five 
and so it is 5, 6, 7 and that is what is doing 5, 6, 7. Finally, let's look into the chunk operator. Perfect for when you need to process data in batches. So what we can do is we can declare var chunks and we can create a chunk of three, for example, here. So if we do a chunk of three, we can create the chunks. So chunk will try to split into three chunks. So in this case, because we don't have exact same number of data for three chunks, it will, because we have total eight, so it will create first chunk as three, second as three, and third one will be two because there's the last two remaining. And here I'm just printing out the three chunks. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm just doing a select on the chunk. And then for each chunk, I'm doing comma separated inside a square bracket. So you can see if I run this, here it creates the chunk of three. First one is zero, one, two. Second one is three, four, five. And last one is six, seven, as expected. So now let's look into a practical example of how we can use this and the best way to use this is for pagination. If we want to create a web API where we want to use a pagination. So let's create a function. So we can say I enumerable of let's create this end and get page. So it will have I enumerable int of source and then page number and page size. And then what we are doing here is we are taking the source, we are skipping the page number minus one because we don't want to go anything before the page into the page size. So if page number is zero, it's not going to skip anything. If page number is one, and if page size is 20, it's going to skip the first 20. And then it's going to take the page size, which is 20, so the next 20. So this is a classic example of pagination. And this is how you can practically use the link partition operators in your code. So quick bullet points to remember here with respect to link. The first one is use take skip for fixed size partitioning. Use take while and skip while for condition based partitioning. Use chunk when you need equal sized group and Another very important thing to remember, these operators don't modify the original collection. They just give a chunk from the original collection and they do not even change the order in the collection. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more content on C -sharp and .net on this channel. And please drop a comment below with what link feature you would like me to cover and I'll create a video on that. Thanks so much.